son. Hey there, guys. Welcome to. We're going to be playing Harvey Birdman lawyer game. If you ever watch a TV show, hey, have you seen the TV show ever? A mm, little bit. Harvey Birdman. Not TV. much. I just know he's cat. No, but he's he's this old 1970s superhero who disappeared like 30 years ago. So, and then he came back as a as a lawyer apparently. I'm gonna, um, actually, we're gonna start from the beginning. I, I haven't played that much into the game actually. I really haven't. How much you play? I play like one quest into it. Because there, there are like um, six cases in it. I only played one you the first ever turtle case. Snappers. People are trying to sleep. Oh. Oh, somebody's on fire. The tasty smell of the start of a weenie roast. I need to get me some kielbasa and white hots. What the? Look at, look at. So there goes our. This is an interactive TV show, practically. Hmm, seven letter word for long and hard starts with an A. Um, no, 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 no. Oh, oh, what is this? I know this. What will be long and hard? Uh, adios, arousal, or ayaquab? I think number four. Number four? Arousal? <laughs> yeah. Okay, arousal. Arousal? Hmm. What does long and hard have to do with arousal? Well, Harvey, if you don't know the answer to that by now, it's safe to say you never will. Great <laughs> man! Pant! Pant! You're half of the duplex! It burned down! Peter Potamus, you're under arrest for the arson of this guy's half a house! Harvey, help me! I didn't do it! Well, I mean, if hey, that guy's also a lawyer. I threw your mailbox in to keep it going a bit longer for my s'mores, but I didn't start it! Yeah, ordinarily, I turned down the case while busy with something else. Clearly not anything arousing. But seeing how this hippo saved me in a case... I need a good lawyer, now! Hey, anybody got an extra set of trousers? Damn it, turn rip my good chinos! Save me! <laughs> yeah, sure. And even save my life. Birdman's drowning! <laughs> uh, all right, what I do? Why is Birdman do? doing all the different things? Yeah. We need some flashback. Or he's drowning. What are you doing? Right I have to. I'll take the case. So first case. Yeah, uh, cleaning crew. As I thought, uh, yeah, if you ever played, uh, this is actually I thought Eric would actually have an awesome time here, but it's frankly, he's like, I'll he's take uh, the case. Harvey Birdman, whatever you call him, he's superhero turned lawyer, defends the helpless and downtrodden. All Did he has. you get that thing Peter that Thomas. I sent to you? While he managed to get out doing actual work, he excels at sexual innuendos, flatulence, and excessive eating. Practically me. Is he actually from an old TV show as well? Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, all these characters so. are from the 70s. Birdman, by the way. is it not enough that you taste by having your duplex? Now you have to suffer by losing to me. Hmm. Is he a prosecutor? Oh, Henry! Yeah. Oh, cute. An air kiss. <laughs> Who's she? Followed by an air fondle, think, air squeeze, uh, and then finally an Arnie air bird ball. Man's or, ex wife. Order in the courtroom! Presenting evidence! I don't understand. <laughs> okay, just imagine all the '70s heroes became all, all the heroes from the '70s became high and became uh, lawyers in the end, Ooh. or a judge. Police record. Uh, no, actually, got that noise. Well, the police record fire started around 11 p.m. and burned for about two hours before the emergency vehicle showed up. By then, the duplex was burned to the ground. So, two hours before emergency and 11 p.m. Mm. Name of the matches from boobies. As a store of movies. It has Potamus' name and phone number handwritten inside. Uh, thank you, Your Honor. Now, I would like to. Mr. Peter Potamus to the stand. Okay, don't say anything. Got it? The less you say, the better our case. Yeah, the guy's making s'mores. Right now, here. Mr. Potamus, if you wouldn't uh, mind, jury and the world, your total and complete guilt in this case. I am sorry. I will not admit to anything because I have a bad case of laryngitis. Therefore, I cannot talk. Good day. Uh, but you just. Uh, I mean, uh, this is preposterous. Uh, Your Honor, if I could, I demand the defendant admit to the crime. I demand it. Mr. Bam Bam, 
Is your defendant have laryngitis? The guy has seashells on his club. Does Potimus have laryngitis? Uh. No. He doesn't? No, he doesn't. Right. I, I think, think he meant to say bronchitis. Wait. That's the seven letter word beginning with A! Yeah, what he said. You mean an inflammation of the bronchial tubes caused by excessive smoke inhalation? Laughable. No further questions, Your Honor. He did it. I got it, Judge. bombs over Baghdad, Europe. Ladies and gentlemen, sure, my client appears to be a callous, privileged, sticky mess of a Obama? hippo, but that guy right there? he is also. It's Obama. Eh, it's gonna be Obama for Obama. Okay, Potamus is a mutant hippo. Let's just say he's a mutant hippo. A yeah. person of special needs. A man on a journey through life without the aid of fingers or thumbs, and therefore incapable of starting a fire. If it pleases your honor, why don't we just ask someone who saw the whole thing happen? Please take the stand. She's wife, I think. What are you doing? If you would, please tell the court what you saw that fateful evening when... Of course. Witness testimony. Harry Birdman and I recently got back together. We're married, you know. Anyway, I was returning from my lover. I mean, Butcher's house, when I saw a small fire on our porch. I saw that hippo just standing there with those matches in his hand. You mean that in conjunction with the book of matches found at the scene, this testimony puts Potamus on the scene with intent? Nothing further! And that's practically your life bar on the right. Like, how many times do you actually fuck uh, up? Well, uh, I think up I get a cross. Have we already fucked up yet? Right? No, you haven't fucked up yet. Hold down, you need to hammer There's down. There's only way to present something and then it's a looking for beaver. Watch for bears. Over. Um, I'll take that as a yes. What do we got? Okay, now we are. Oh, yeah. Press that button. Again. <laughs> Again. You do that one more time, and I'm going to bite you. <laughs> Let's have a party, boys. Oh, yeah, I think she's also banging your sidekick. Oh. On the side, yeah. Okay, Harry Benman and I recently got back together. We are married. You never admitted that to anyone before. And it's on record. Gigi, wife. Uh, not while I'm under oath, Harry. Okay, when I pulled up around midnight, I saw a tiny fire on the porch. Press. Yeah. No, that's it? Nothing else? Okay, I can't press hmm. that. But actually, that right there is already... She came around midnight, and... If you examine right here... The fire started around 11 p.m. Before the emergency vehicle showed up. So we can present that or just look at all their stuff first. I saw that hippo I would standing bet that there I could present matches. something that can yeah, nothing looks out of place here. Right. I would bet that I could present something that contradicts this statement. Okay, here. Because she pulled out around 12 o'clock and it started at 11, so... But that's an hour after the police record says the fire started. Yeah, except that the clock in my car is set wrong because of daylight savings. What? Press. You're barking up the wrong tree, Birdman. Oh, what? I'm wrong there? Okay, so, oh, okay she changed her statement. Even you can't do that in court. What? Huh? No, she says, uh, when I pulled up around 11 p.m., I saw a small fire. It's around here. Present. What? This one? Mmm. Present this one? This matchbook, found at the scene of the crime, uh, my house. Sure. Looks like a matchbook to me. Don't you find it strange that my client would put his own name and phone number on the very matches he used to burn my house and leave them there for all to find? Uh, not really. He was probably gonna give them to some intern. 
Nah, I was gonna give them to Savannah over at Boobies. Aha! Uh -huh. Ixnay on the axes, May. No, I mean I was gonna give them to Savannah until I saw... Gigi! I gave them to her at the weenie roast at your place, Birdman. She asked for them, and I, being a gentleman, obliged. Plus, it's not like I could ever use them without thumbs it off. So that does place Gigi at the scene of the crime with the Book of Matches. Wait, but why? Burn girl to the uh, rescue! I've got a new piece of evidence. <gasps> it's a cigarette lighter with the initials PP engraved on the side. I found it at your house, Birdman. Oh, thanks for that evidence. That's great. <laughs> for the other side... A cigarette lighter with Mr. Potamus's initials on it at the scene of the conflagration. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, I believe that this is what we refer to as a smoking gun. Or some people I know call it a lighter. Hmm. Something here just doesn't make sense. Evidence. A cigarette lighter with ornate initials and grab on the side. The initials read PP. What is flashy here? My wife. Uh, did she say she was my wife again? Because maybe she could help me with that seven letter word. Would the witness please rephrase her testimony for the court? I can change my testimony. What is a seven letter word? I pulled up in front of our place and saw Petey. Whatever. He was lighting a fire by the front door using that lighter. I drove off to get help from my precious husband, Harry. I think I said fucked up once, actually, this part. I pulled up in front of our place and saw Petey. Okay. I would beg to differ with this statement, but I think it sounds just fine. Okay, and I know I fucked up there. Okay, I saw Petey right here. Yeah, nothing looks out of place here. Nope. I drove off to get help for my precious husband. Oh? Where did you drive for help? I drove down the street and dialed 911 on my cell phone. I can't believe I processed incriminating evidence against Birdman's client. Now there's no way Birdman can win this case on his own. He needs me and the Bird team now more than ever. I will make up for this, but how? How? <laughs> I know! 911! That's it! I'll get the recording and we'll find out her story doesn't check and I will save this case! To the burglar! What the hell? This will do it, Birdman! I found new evidence which will convict Potamus for good! Yeah, she found new evidence in the span of seven seconds. Thanks, I think. I think I actually tapped the 911 call. And right here. on fire. Oh, okay. What is the address? Hmm, I'm not really sure, but it belongs to Birdman. Uh, okay, ma'am. Will that be a Henry or Harvey Birdman? Oh, it's Harry. Oh. Okay, well, according to our directory, there are no Harry Birdmans in the area. <laughs> I'm sorry, is this Gigi? Yeah. Hi, it's me, Scott. Hey, you. How you doing? I didn't know you were working tonight. Yeah, only a few more hours. I'll see you later. <laughs> yeah, you will. Yeah, I'd present that if you can. Yeah, because it, it's going to call at 12.30, all right? I drove that street down line one on my cell phone. That's not it. He was laying in front of front door using that lighter. I pulled up in front of I got a presser here. Oh, actually, I'll just present it. Because then it came much later. This evidence says you made the call at 12.30 a.m. That's exactly an hour and a half after you said you saw Potamus setting the fire. Well, here's what happened. I drove to the birdcage to see if you were there. You weren't, but there was this suspicious guy with an eye patch who I flirted with. I mean, watched for like an hour because I thought he had something to do with the fire. See, he's not slut at he all. He didn't. Then I drove to Peanut's house to see if he was awake. He was. Or at least he was by the time I left. Oh. oh. <laughs> and that's when I called 911 to report the fire. So you pretty much let my house burn down? All my stuff gone? My Bell Biv Devo collection? My coupons? The thing I sent him? That thing he sent me? Y Wait, what the? A prenuptial agreement between Harvey and Gigi saying she gets half of any insurance claim? What? Wait! 
There's the motive. So, seeing as you don't keep track of things I send to you, I brought a copy with me. He probably brings random prenup souls along with him. Ooh. A prenup show game between Harry Birdman and Gigi Ooh. stating that Gigi will receive half of any insurance money for theft or destruction of Harry's personal property. All right, so she burned down the house, which so can go yourself. You may have motive and access to the crime scene and is, I saw, I was a reasonable time, time for frame and opportunity. I, was gonna some like room but I don't have the hat costume, I have so proven I'm, that the, the fire was good. started with Potamus's engraved lighter. That lighter is integral to winning this case. So you are telling the court that the owner of the lighter is the arsonist. Isn't that right, Volturo? <laughs> Uh, those aren't his initials. I shall show this one. Aren't those his not his initials? I'm sure if I handed this lighter to Potamus, there would be no way he could make it work. Harvey, I may not have fingers, but I am able to perform many complicated tasks. Give me that thing. Hey, everyone, look! A sandwich! I got it! I got it! <laughs> Uh, it's a trick lighter. Have you attempted to use the lighter? And there you see, <laughs> God this from, is from nothing Street more than one of those trick lighters that squirt water. Here, let me show the court. Really? It's, uh, it's so his as initials you can plainly see, CP. that man is on fire, and uh, therefore this is not. It's a Peter trick Pop. Ah. It's Peter Potamus. While these may appear to be Peter Potamus's initials engraved on the lighter. If you flip it over, tilt it at a 90 degree angle while gleaming it towards the sun and possibly wear an eye patch, the initials clearly read GG. By the great god of horn gods, I declare this case over. <laughs> I can't believe it. We won! See? I told you we could do it. We won! We won! <laughs> so, who won? Eeny, meeny, miny, Birdman. <laughs> really? Was that all you had to do? Yeah. So there goes that case right there, actually. And actually, actually, there's one funny joke in the end, actually, here, where it, where, where, where it kind of, where it kind of tells you how much of an idiot you are for passing the first one. Well, Potamus, it looks like I'll have to crash at your place for a while. Sure, but you have all that insurance money coming to you. Too bad Gigi gets half. Actually, <laughs> I get all of it. Present the evidence that proves Harvey's entitled to insurance money. It turns out Harry Birdman signed this prenuptial agreement, and I would like to take this time to tell everyone that I am not Harry. Ha ha ha! Quadruple entendre! At least in French it is! <laughs> yeah, that's also the guy from the anime Big O. Actually, there's actually one joke in the anime that says something. Um, why did he do it Har Harry and not Harvey? Uh, because yeah, that, that's her nickname for him. Uh, l look at you being the first level. Four more to go, haha. <laughs> Who goes there? Welcome to 7 and 7 After Hours. The building's completely deserted, so if you're here to deliver and a package... And you can check it out, he's wearing an eye also. There's no one here to sign for it slash stop you. Have a great night! Wait, isn't the guy he was she was talking about the, uh, the eye patch? Yeah. So fucked up. And the guy that I fetched is not even. Okay, she, she probably What's fucked up the guy that I Love what you've done with the place. Very airy. Uh, wait. Where's my desk? Yeah, I think I'd be more concerned with the stuff that was in the bottom drawer. You saw those? You tell me, HB. What might be wrong with this little picture? Here, sir? Going Zen? We're going Zen. Very minimalist. I like it. Got dolls from Street nice. Fighter there also. That'll cut down on all that silly we've been robbed fuss. We've been robbed. Peanut, we've been robbed. <gasps> you think? Let's not. Oh be no, that guy's name is Peanut. Hey, I'm just happy they didn't get my computer or this stack of money. Some of that stuff was irreplaceable. My mask balm was in there. My big box of rubber bands. <laughs> oh, God. Jackie, give me the police department. <laughs> Jackie? 
Let me use your computer to email Jackie. It... Hey, why was it your computer stolen? Uh, uh blind justice? <laughs> Do we really need to involve the cops in this? Hmm, if not the police, who'd do it? Go ahead. I'll take the case. So, kind of like, um, Phoenix Ray, you can go, like, analyze all the stuff and figure out what's going on, actually. So, stack of cash with no one's name on it, find us keepers, guys. Catch the dollars. I bet Benjamin stole it. Benjamin? Hey, wait, which is uh, they got the uh, eye patch? What the guy, the what the guy, the his partner is? I just found a thing. I found a coffee cup. Actually, I should just thought like Adam West voices this guy. I think like some times he had Adam West did voice him. And then you have phone cable and inch high private it eye. Buying it. Private Eye of the small stature, Inch High has served Seabin and Seabin on a number of occasions. See, so yeah, there's a little midge right there, apparently. So safe and looks like someone left on their death ray just sitting from a window, completely ruining my spectacular city view. There goes X-ray's death ray. Part of the machine that fires the death ray bears to clear of it. A massive breaker switch that's in the off position. Ponder why things go fly, guys. A giant ominous red button. I wonder what it does. Oh, look at that! My finger slipped. Oh, I thought I could like, open that up. Super shot. You know, I bet you broke something. Yeah. Harvey's office. Two Javelocks. Hey, you recognize that character? Mm-hmm. And he's supposed to be a good guy. I didn't uh, do anything wrong. Secret squirrel. Not yeah. yet. Yeah. Harvey! Help me out here! Say something! Say something! I'm a superhero! Oh, officers. I'm a superhero! I'm a superhero! Kind of. So you're an unlicensed vigilante? Uh, and also a lawyer. You're not helping. You can't arrest him. He's a spy. No, I'm not. I'm not a spy. Yes, you are too a spy. Why are you disagreeing with me? Hey, Harvey, how about keeping that down some before the secret part of Secret Squirrel loses all meaning? Wait, I'm an attorney and he's my client. Yeah, he's my... Wait, what? What are the charges? Robbing your office. Take him away, boys. No, wait. I don't do well in tight spaces with lonely men. Did you say with lonely men? Yeah. I, I don't know. It's a, but Secret Scrolls is apparently in this game somehow. No, he's just on TV shows or whatever. Oh, uh, he's got Mask Bomb. You see the Secret Scroll drop this full tube of Mask Bomb? Just my luck, seeing as someone stole mine. Hey, wait a second. Is this mine? Does it smell? Does my face smell like this? We go to trash. Just as I, I suspected, the, world the world coffee cup on Secret Peanut's whale? desk came from yeah. Java Box. How can Secret Scroll kill me? Just as I suspected, this trash coffee cup is disgusting. Ew! I got it. Dirty can, dirty soda can. I mean, sort of bringing folder. SNS entrance. Um, talk? I found something. I found What's this look like to you? What's this look like to you? Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, were you saying something? It's a greasy bag attached to a child's boxer shorts, and it's under pieces of my intercom, which means... Beep, whoever stole the stuff dropped a boxer slash bag. Beep. Right. Don't be shy. Get up close and do some examining. Um, taste the bag. Taste the bag. Yes. There's something familiar about this. Hmm. This grease smells like peanut oil. Is that in the bag too, or just the boxers? 
Hey, they're not mine. That's not enough wrapping for my package. Package! Special delivery! Take it to the back door! Nothing else. <laughs> I think everything here has an eye patch, apparently. Okay, a small pair of children's boxers and peanut oil. And this thing is a intercom from Harvey's office. Um, is it supposed to be obvious we did it? Eh, I, think, I think it's supposed to be. Actually, I, actually, I, I remember that sometimes actually, like, um, the person who did it comes down in the last second, actually. So I think, um, I think there's nothing else exactly. Harvey's office. I mean, oh no, we're supposed to go here. Wait, wait, what is this again? All oh, car keys. A pair of keys with the yellow tag on it. One for the door, one for the trunk. Or maybe it's one for the door and one for the ignition. Wait, maybe it's one for the house key or a safe key. Someone's here. Maybe I should Someone's talk to them. Here. Maybe I should talk to them. Oh, hello. Nope, um, how do I talk? We've been robbed! You too? No, we, as in the bird team! Oh, yeah, right. Have you found any clues? Well, I have this triple duper grande coffee cup from Java Lux, which I found on Peanut's desk. Couldn't that just belong to Peanut? Well, he's an ex barista. He grinds his own. Ha <laughs> ha! Coarse grinding! I also found these boxers and this greasy bag trapped under my intercom, which uh, lay shattered on the sidewalk. Plus a set of car keys and this stack of money. Oh, and this. Think it could mean something? Of course. So, for evidence, we've got a greasy bag slash pair of boxers, a coffee cup, a set of keys, a stack of money, and a death ray console that runs on tubes. I'll round up the suspects and see you at the jail. You, the object of my wreck. Really don't have time for this now. Hey, love what you've done with the place. Very minimal. Now, if you need furnishings, just let me know. I sell a bunch of stuff online. I'll uh, keep that in mind. Hey, I lost a couple of things recently. Uh, let's see here. One was a calfskin glove. I haven't seen it. Ah, uh, shucks. Oh, and I left my death ray somewhere. It's right there by the window. Lock up when you leave. Alright, uh, let's move. And we can talk to you. Okay, you want to talk for Secret Squirrel or that going gorilla guy from from Boomerang? Let's go to go Gorilla Man. The Gorilla Man, Magilla Gorilla. Talk. Magilla Gorilla, you? We're just questioning him right now. Technically, he's a person of interest. Don't you mean gorilla of interest? Can you tell us where you were last night around midnight? That's easy. I stopped to get a triple duper grande at the Java Lux on my way back to the pet shop. Wow, that's a lot of caffeine. Well, I'm a lot of ape. Unfortunately, I spilled most of the coffee on me and got a bad burn. That gorilla got grilled. It's bad enough when he does the puns. Please continue. I stood straight up, and the burn set in that way. I couldn't sit down all day. But you're sitting now. I spent the morning putting ice on it until I turned purple. I guess that made me a grape ape? Uh, I think someone else holds the trademark on that. Show him the evidence. That'll break him. Um, what evidence? The evidence that links him conclusively to the crime? The evidence our whole case against him is based on? Okay, that's easy. He was presenting the coffee cup. This cup of coffee. Uh, it, it can't be. Maybe, maybe the bad burns put me in a state of confusion. If I were a fish, I'd be guilty. I'll see you. Ah, uh, boo! Sorry. Mr. Peebles had a bird contest at the store. Oversized ape loves Javlox and loves coffee. And then I gotta talk to Secret Squail now. Who apparently goes to a life of crime now. <laughs> or isn't doing anything now. Secret Squirrel? You? You were there when they arrested me. Just questioning. Oh. I'm innocent. I didn't do anything wrong. You stole from me. Stole what? You don't have any evidence to prove that. 
Show him the up. Show him the cream. Oh. When the police I don't get how that relates to this, but I fell out of your trench coat. I didn't mean to. Wait, that's my mask bomb for my dry chap mask eyes. Oh, I, I get chapped eyes for my mask too. I, I guess anybody could have bought that. This is ridiculous. I've been good. I followed every term of my probation since you failed to get me off on those flashing charges. You were caught on tape. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> I didn't say I didn't do it. Just that you Why is he with squirrel? <laughs> Midnight last night. Do you have an alibi? Sure. Okay, I like to go squirrel as a kid, actually. Out of Heard there might be a gorilla that was scalding himself for insurance money. Have any luck? I struck out. Nothing. Filch. Nada. I got too hungry, so just before midnight, I grabbed a bag of nuts and went home. These nuts came in a bag? A bag of nuts isn't a bag of nuts without a bag, Birdman. That links you to the crime scene. How? Because I got, I got a bag of nuts, right? And here it is. There's peanut oil and shit. Yeah. We found this underneath my intercom right in front of 7 and 7. That could be anyone's. What about these? Ah, my boxers. We'll see you in court. We'll see you in court. Do you bring both of them to court? I think we... I don't know if courts actually do that, though. Like, you They be... don't. They don't. Move. I think... Well, we have to talk, right? Wait, there's a third suspect, X. Aren't you gonna question him? See what he knows? Um, yes. yes. No, you should no, right. I'll yeah, right I should've done, oh, I should've done I'm right. that. I'm right. I can't believe you're really gonna march right up to your arch enemy who's only been trying to steal your crest for years just to prove your other clients innocent. Hurt, yeah. Hurt, yeah. On second thought, no, no, she, she's supposed it to be would be dumb to go she's looking for trouble. I'll, I'll deal with X later. She's not spunky. She's just retarded. The police gave yeah. me his home address. You want me to go visit the home of the guy who spends his every waking moment trying to steal my crest? Ah, I'd be better off sleeping with the rats. Two rats also from another TV show, I think. Yeah, I know that. Yeah. Like, all of them are... It's weird because they're all from TV shows. I know. If I would have known this show was like that, I would actually probably watch the show. Yeah. Um, Harvey, what are you doing on that side? Oh. Prosecuting, Your Honor. My office furniture has been stolen and uh, one I recognize that green guy. He's the guilty part. part. Uh huh. Which one? Is it okay to say I'm not sure? Okay. It's fantastic. Any chance we can find so them both guilty? Uh, I'll do my best. Is he supposed Mr. to be defending or prosecuting? You've got red team this week. Hey, your honor, love to help you out, but I've already prepared a killer prosecution. Besides, admit it, it'd be pretty fun to see Birdman defend the people accused of stealing from. Oh, okay, we're defending guys who burn, who stole our own stuff. I appoint you to represent the defendants. The guy's a brain for a mouth. But your honor, I'm the victim in this case. Fascinating. But hey. You're a defense attorney. They're your defendants. Defend away, Mr. Prosecutor. Your case. I'd like to call Secret Squirrel to the stand. Hey, cool hat, lovely eye thing. Where were you last Thursday evening around midnight? I was staking out the Javelux, looking for signs of a cereal coffee scalder. I took a meal break just before midnight. Nothing beats a nice walnut cashew party mix at a time like that. I spent some time scouting out the ladies while I finished my snack. The stakeout turned into a strikeout. So I went home. He had a girlfriend in the show. I really think I had a girlfriend actually in this one. I was stalking at Javelix looking for a sign of a cereal. Isn't the I'm familiar with the place. So, you were on a stakeout right in front of the building at the time it was robbed. And you didn't see a thing? My attention was, uh, otherwise occupied. I took a break just before midnight. Nothing beats the walnut cashew party mix at a time like that. So, these nuts came in a bag? Of course! I grabbed myself some nuts in a bag and devoured them as I finished up my stakeout. Hey, okay, just present the bag. 
Here is a bag found at the scene of the crime the under the remains of my intercom attached to a pair of tiny boxers. Ah! My boxers! Harvey, didn't I just ask you to defend this man? Uh, what are you exact? Oh, never mind. <laughs> um, you did? Well, so far, you've done an excellent job of prosecuting him. Now give it another whirl from the right side this time, or I'll find you in contempt of court, and you'll end up sharing a cell with the gorilla over there. I think there must be something in the evidence that proves I, this bag honestly, is not if I was a lawyer now, I would not know how to freaking defend this, actually. Prison that man is out could clear a secret squirrel. Um... Prosecute the gorilla. Really? Yeah, if you can... Uh, a gorilla? Mr. Peebles had a... Nope. Oh, life. Wait, it's his force. Money? Money at... Nah, it's, 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 either, it's one of these three. And this is his shorts, so... Maybe... Didn't we just present that? Clear secret squirrel. What happens if we lose this? Do we just go to the beginning? Um, no, you go back to your checkpoint thingy. Okay. Just try the, um. Oh, have you presented the shorts yet? No. These may be your boxers that were crammed into that paper sack, but tell us, what kind of nuts did you say you had? Oh, in all! Squirrel? A walnut cashew party Wait, mix. No. Damn it. Then this bag couldn't possibly be yours. Because this bag is covered in peanut oil. What? Hey, what? I'm allergic to peanuts. Don't worry, there's no more I nuts left in the bag. I the bag, though, like, why didn't it work? But I get sick from even trace amounts. Say, what now? <laughs> I think I'm going into prophylactic <laughs> Holy <shock>. shit! Peanuts. <laughs> why did it have to be peanuts? Is he gonna die? <laughs> yeah. Right. Oh! Medical recess until the squirrel recovers. But, Your Honor, my client is clearly innocent of the charges filed against him. And just how is that, exactly? Allergic. The peanuts. Yeah. The peanuts! He couldn't have eaten what was in that bag. It would have killed him on the spot. <laughs> Damn. Harvey, you're right. Nice recovery. Not guilty. We'll reconvene to try McGill and Gorilla for the crime brain instead. Is that a brain? Yeah, that's a brain, dude. I thought it was that RJ getting caught in candy, but you know, uh, the guy's using a brain as a mouth. I thought it was like a cleaner. What? I thought it was some sort of cleaning thing. Like, because like, that thing gonna bounce actually when he hits that. Phil still hasn't replaced my stuff. Why is that still here? And why is it blocking my window? I don't think they actually to examine here anymore. So. Oh, oh, okay, I'll get a little bit there. Thanks, Mrs. Uh, Eliminator. <gasps> well, that's an intro to his old TV show. This is both creepy and flattering. Uh, okay, we gotta look at the stalker. There's a lot of stuff. This guy loves you, dude. Oh, actually, this is oh, I'm, uh, the bell, so I checked something. Apparently, in the teacher, he's your main main villain. He tries to kill you. Why does he love you so much? Man? I don't know why. It's like not. It's, it's like Joker with Batman. Like, the dude has an unhealthy obsession with you. Who? Huh? You're Joker not... has an obsession with Batman, really? Yeah, he does. I received from Larry's discount layers concerning subterranean dungeon complete with six types of death traps and a built-in smoothie machine. Mmm, underground All that matters is the smoothie machine. It's all that matters. Don't even worry about it. No, no, I'll check this one out. Answering machine. How adorable! Just answering machine that gets that looks just like me. Where I press to get to message play. Ah, bad touch.
Batman. Okay, you would want that, right? I would still want that. Why does he want to steal the crest on Batman's or Birdman's helmet? I don't know why, because he's he's a, he's a he's a he's a sub obsessive villain. But what's up with the crest, though? What's the crest do? I don't know. It's like I never watched either of them, so I don't. Or I haven't watched much. Um, I want to maybe watch a little bit of Harley. Hmm. Vacuum tube. There could be some. T oh, so okay, got it. What was it? Oh yeah, it's the thing that um. It, it's. Uh, uh, wait, no, where, where's Harvey's office? If I. It's it's the thing that you can actually put in. Uh, I, if you see, this is a hole. Which one? This is a hole right here. Oh. oh. And all we got was. Uh... Okay, so. Hmm. Is this back? Wait, what? The X-ray yeah, no, goes off of the vacuum tube to power. The, uh, what you really? call it? Yeah, there. apparently. Uh oh. Yeah, this looks harmless enough. Uh. Oh. Oh. Ooh. He's, he's <laughs> harmlessly outside. He's dead. Yeah, that's, oh, we got a business card off that. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, Harvey Birdman just killed the guy. Don't worry, we're one step closer. We're one step closer! Wait, what's it say? Um, it says Toth. What the hell's Toth? I'm guessing it's a business card, so... Okay, so as soon as we fail, I think we're, we'll be in the checkpoint, actually. This is pretty ridiculous, this game. Yeah. Megilla Gorilla, what is your beverage of choice? Coffee! And more than coffee, Javalux coffee. Now, I have your sworn affidavit that you were in the vicinity of the building Purchasing a coffee in a paper cup identical to the one found at the crime scene is around midnight, the evening of the burglary. Sure. That, that robot well, dude? Why don't yeah, you go ahead and just admit dude. that you I've did it. it? All right, you got me. Now can I go home to Mr. Peebles? Yay! <laughs> well done. Guilty as charged. Wait, can't we hear some actual testimony here? There's nothing for me to poke holes through. <laughs> I had just gotten off of work. I stopped at the Java Lux across from 7 and 7 to pick up a coffee before going home. I spilled some of the hot coffee on my lap. Fortunately, I ordered a triple duper grande and still had some to drink. I stood right up and then couldn't sit down. What? The pain made everything kind of hazy. That must have been when I robbed Birdman's office. Uh, Wait, what? The guy is saying... Then it was hazy, and that's when he stole. But he stole everything. We only have three left. Yeah. Well, uh, if we lose those three. Um, you just start back in the checkpoint with a, a back to three again. What? Where was your checkpoint? Save. Yeah, that's save right there. Oh, okay. The problem though is that if you that if you fuck up, like uh, if you only have one left, and you fuck up, and you go back to the checkpoint, you still only have one left. Why? Because it goes off where you last off. Like if I if I lose all these things here, and I do a checkpoint instead of five, I get three. Oh, okay. So, um, I just got him off work. Yeah, nothing looks out of place here. And then press everything and like, in case, like, you said something. Well, I guess that does make some sense. I stood right up until, uh, he, until then I couldn't sit down, then the pain made everything hazy. That must have been when I robbed the office. How do you know you robbed my office? Isn't that what I'm charged with? Sh should I confess to something else? Um... <laughs> I'm confused. You couldn't have robbed my office. It's impossible. There's no proof. He no. was injured. All right. The coffee you spilled on yourself no prevented you from sitting down or even bending over. You wouldn't be able to fit through my door. I, I said, hey, why is the grill here anyway? I didn't do it then. What did we well do? Well done, done Harvey. Here? I'd like to pronounce our primo primate friend here. Objection. I'd like a chance to further question the witness. Spoil sport. Mr. Gorilla, you say you could not bend over at the time of the crime. Yes, that coffee did it to me. Can you climb, Mr. Gorilla? Like a monkey. Could you climb up through the window of Mr. Birdman's office? So that's how I did it. Exactly. Objection. I can prove he didn't do that. Really? How? There was something that would have gotten in his way. Okay, ignore the fact that you have no evidence that I can have... Oh, that's right. 
When I came into There's no evidence that he climbed up. Death ray machine like all blocking the windows. There's no way Magilla Gorilla could have gotten past it. <laughs> Not guilty again! Harvey, you're on a roll. Does everything happen to Harvey throughout this whole series? I think it does. Oh, oh okay. First off, our, our home was, bo or was burned down. And second, our stuff was stolen. So who robbed Harvey? Oh, uh, Gigi. Uh, am I uh, interrupting? But she's still there. Come on in, Birdman. You're the man of the hour. Oh, who's the stiff? Birdman. Just what this party needs. More sausage in a soup. <laughs> oh, <laughs> so you're a real animal, they tell me. <laughs> I'm a primate. You know, I still don't have any clue what happened to all my stuff. Then let's figure it I out. I guess we're all your costumes in the jacuzzi. Court is in the hot tub. All right, but I want to prosecute this time. It's my stuff we're talking about here. I call defense. Done and done. Harvey, call your first witness. Peanut? Hmm? Oh, yeah, I'll testify. As long as I don't have to actually stand. Uh, deal. Go! I call Peanut to the stand. Bubble Jet. I know you had something to do with this. Come clean. Right. Okay, here goes. I didn't steal anything, period. How's that for a testimony? That doesn't count, dude! That doesn't count! Come on, Peanut, play along. Tell us what you did that night. I was playing darts at the birdcage. That's where I ran into X the Eliminator. He seemed a bit intoxicated, so I offered to look after his death ray device. Oh my. I would do the same for any friend. Walk, walk. Okay, why are you playing darts at whatever? Harvey, beware the mind taker. There's nothing. No, that's it. Nothing I would else? press him right there, cause like, what is the what is our main villain doing in our base, whatever? Isn't that guy a villain too? I Wait, would beg to differ with this judge? statement. But yeah, I think is. it sounds just fine. So you're friends with X the Eliminator? Well, by friend, I mean more like business associate. Mm. Then there would need to be the right reasons. Okay. What about a million? Or at least a thousand reasons? Yeah, those would be the right reasons. For any business associate. Oh, he's got a business card, so... That seemed right in my head. Stupid head! Press again? Well, I guess that does make some sense. X pay me to look up first. Oh, here it is. Press. So how did you get that thing all the way back to my office by yourself? I drove. You don't have a car! I know. I drove X's car. So that explains those keys. Yep. Regular old car keys. Yeah, let's see what X has to say about all of this. Next witness! That's my line. Line taker! Um... Can I call X to the stand? Better. What the hell? Spill it, baghead. <laughs> Can you tell us what happened that night? I was out celebrating the opening of my new business, and I suppose I may have had a few too many. Now, I asked Peanut if he'd watch after my death ray machine for me. I don't remember what happened afterwards. And now, I find myself accused by you of robbing you blind. Me, your number one fan. A foe. I mean foe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, got two lives left. I was celebrating opening my you. Yeah, nothing looks out of place here. No. I asked Pina if he'd watch after my death room machine for me. I think nothing comes off this. I would yeah. beg to differ with this statement, but I think it sounds just fine. Did you give him these keys? Yes, they're to the move. Oh, I mean, mother's escort. Damn escort. <laughs> no, that's it. Nothing else. Actually, I would want to question Peanut why he kept the keys now. 
Uh, and now I find myself accused by you! Harvey, beware the mind taker. Uh. Uh. Okay, I don't know this one actually. Nothing, nothing off there. It's something around here though, I know that. Because it's almost suspicious when I was. Uh, and if I asked Pina, he'd watch it. I asked Pina if he'd watch over Death Ring Machine for me. Maybe this thing? What is it? Uh, I asked him. Does this this? Probably. Would those, in fact, be keys to a moving van rented out by this company? Uh, yes. How did you... It's just... It's, it's so hard to talk about. But I'm finally moving into a place of my own. Say, tell me more about this place you're moving into. Well, I finally decided to move out of my mother's basement. I needed a moving van, and I paid Peanut to lend me a hand with lugging everything. My arms are so sore from packing and moving that I can barely move them. Anyway, it's a quiet little place. It's on the water with an amazing view. Okay, okay, okay. I got this one now. Let's press this one. Okay, let's press this one. Harvey, beware the mind taker. Because the guy says, it's a quiet little place on the water with an amazing view. He's talking about he has a du he's oh, he's owning a dungeon. So, and what kind of view do you have in an underground lair? Darn it! That was supposed to be a surprise. I had a whole set of death traps installed just for you. <laughs> so, X, where did you get the money for something like that? Oh, shut up! You know what I did. You've known it all along. I did. I mean, yes, I did. Just do it. Do it. Lay down that final piece of evidence, that last piece of the puzzle that will reveal my crime and seal my fate. Present the evidence that reveals the exit master plan. I have to present this one because I think I've presented everything else already. So, auction.com, we buy slash sell Harvey Birdman memorabilia. Huh? <laughs> Damn you, Birdman! You foiled my plans once again! I still have some questions, though. Oh, oh, let me. X's nefarious plot was to auction Harvey's stolen stuff off to the highest bidder, which, since it was all worthless to anyone but Harvey, would be Harvey. Then X hoped to make a bulk trade, the missing office furniture, or Harvey's crest, I am brilliant. Um, yeah, that's exactly what I was going to say. Well, everybody, everything's back to normal. And Peanuts, X, do you have anything hey, to say? Hey, why is X there? Uh, drawing a blank? <laughs> Something to do with you loaning me your crest? No, you can thank me for not pressing charge. Oh, yeah. I guess I could. But I won't! <laughs> One question. There was something found on two pieces of evidence that wasn't explained at trial, and that was... Evidence that was not explained at trial. I don't think we did work done, so... Oh, wait, around with me. Peanuts got dibs on that stack of money. Oh, oh. Uh, can I have the broken intercom thingy? Nutsack! Ha <laughs> ha! Finally getting that. <laughs> Wait, what? I don't know what happened. I think I fucked up there, actually. Uh, but that, that, that's a small joke they did for. What the hell? What the hell? Bob, 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 Bob. Bob. <laughs> X's wardrobe, Bob. Voice like Bob. It is Bob. Bob. From. From glamour to slammer. Actually, um, quick, quick break here.